This video is brought to you by NordVPN. Give yourself options online. Go to nordvpn.com forward slash top 10s to get a two year plan with a huge discount plus an additional month for free. More on them in a bit. Self-defense is big business. You could learn boxing, jiu-jitsu, Krav Maga, and dozens of other fighting styles. You can also invest in tools that range from telescoping batons to tasers to high-powered rifles. If you want to defend yourself, the sky is the limit. Animals, on the other hand, are far less at their disposal. Most rely on their ability to flee or hide, and those that fight typically just use teeth and claws. But every so often, an animal comes up with a really novel way to protect itself. Number 10. Exploding ants blow up on enemies. No one can tell you exactly how many ants there are in the world, and for good reason. How would anyone ever know? Even estimates can be pretty wild, but some guess around a hundred trillion. Fire ants have painful stings, and bullet ants are legendary for the pain that their bites cause. But even among ants, you'd have to hand it to exploding ants when it comes to self-defense. Their name makes it pretty clear that these things are on a whole different level. Found in the trees of Borneo, these ants react to threats in the most dramatic way imaginable. Known as Colobopsis explodens, the ants are able to rupture their own bodies by flexing them so hard they burst in a process that not only kills them, but covers their attacker in a sticky and toxic mixture of internal fluids. The process will either kill or disable the attacker. Number 9. Sea Cucumbers Shoot Their Guts at Enemies Sometimes the best offense is a good offense, and the best offense is to be incredibly disgusting. Enter the sea cucumber and its gut regurgitation method of defense that may not be physically damaging, but if nothing else, it is psychologically traumatizing to would-be attackers. Though some species do vaguely resemble cucumbers, sea cucumbers are classified as echinoderms. They are invertebrates, which means they don't have a spinal column like shellfish, worms, jellyfish, and so on. What they do have is a digestive system, and when threatened, they can force it right out of their bodies at predators. A shark is able to puke its own stomach out as a way of cleaning it and then swallow it again. But that's not how a sea cucumber works. Once those guts come out, they stay out. The animal is then able to just grow new ones. It takes a couple of weeks, but, well, it beats being eaten. Number 8. Bees cook wasps or resort to poop. Most of us don't need to be told how a bee defends itself. Bee stings are fairly well known, and they're one of the reasons most of us don't go stealing honey from hives like we're bears in the woods. Less well known is what a bee has to do when its sting is not sufficient to take out an enemy. Giant Asian wasps have become an infamous species over the last decade or two thanks to the internet and its fascination with unusual life forms. These giant, terrifying insects are known to attack beehives, and just a few can destroy everything. They literally cut bees apart with their mandibles, and the bee sting is unable to pierce the wasp's exoskeleton. So how does a hive react when the wasps attack? They form a super hot sphere of bee power, and they cook the attacker to death. The bees will swarm on the deadly wasps en masse. Although the wasp will kill many individuals, the hive may be able to survive as the group all work together to beat their wings and generate heat from the effort. They can raise the temperature of a wasp up to as much as 47 degrees Celsius, which kills it. Amazing the bees are able to properly regulate this temperature so that it's hot enough to kill a wasp, but not themselves, which could happen if things were just a few degrees warmer. Some species of wasps have learned to avoid these heat balls by picking off drones outside of the hive until there are no bees left to defend it. But the bees have also adapted to this. Beekeepers have observed honeybees gathering buffalo dung. They place it around the entrance to the hive, something that they would normally never do. Dung is often dangerous thanks to pathogens, and it effectively keeps the wasps away. Even when wasps do try to attack a dung defended hive, they spend 94% less time doing so. Number 7. Vultures projectile vomit when threatened. Vultures are considered by many to be rather ugly birds with their bald heads and hooked beaks. They also seem rather objectionable when it comes to their habits since they feed on carrion and can most often be seen neck deep in rotten carcasses. They also slather themselves in their own waste to keep cool. Their highly acidic urine will lower the temperature as it evaporates and also kills bacteria. It probably comes as no surprise that their chief method of self-defense is also extremely unpleasant. When threatened, a vulture will force itself to vomit. That's pretty awful in and of itself, but remember that they eat already rotten meat, so when it vomits, it's throwing up the most vile filth you can imagine. Not only is it going to look gross and smell gross, it's laden with the bird's extremely volatile digestive juices, which are so potent they can burn. This spray of vomit is also projectile and can travel upwards of 10 feet. And while all of that makes it seem like these birds are wretched in every way, remember that they provide a valuable service by cleaning up all that carrion, and we'd likely have far more disease and bacteria being spread around if it wasn't for 
before them. Number six, crested rats slather themselves in poison. Humans are renowned for using ingenuity to get a job done, and there are a handful of animals that demonstrate similar talents. Monkeys use tools, coyotes and badgers hunt together. There are a lot of ways to reach a goal. When it comes to African crested rats, they go above and beyond to defend themselves from predators by engaging in chemical warfare. The rats have been observed chewing on the poisonous bark of certain trees. Once they work up a nice mouthful of toxic spit, they wipe it on their fur, effectively giving themselves a poisonous shield. Similar behavior does exist elsewhere in nature. There are species of toxic toads that get their toxins from the insects that they eat, but this is the only mammal known to engage in such behavior. Initially, the rats were thought to make their poison until one single rat was observed chewing the bark and wiping the toxins on itself. Researchers then captured some to house them under constant surveillance, and many of them were observed engaging in the same behavior, though exactly why the rat itself is immune to the toxin is not entirely understood. It may be thanks to their four-chambered stomach full of dense bacteria, but it's not conclusive. All right, we'll get back to today's video in just a sec, but first, here's a word from today's sponsor, NordVPN. Look, everyone uses the internet a little differently, and that's totally fine, but what you don't want to do is leave yourself unprotected online. You may have heard me talk about what NordVPN could do for you previously, encrypt your internet day to remove your online activity to another location with just a single click, either for superior security or new streaming options. And all of that is still true. NordVPN has more than 5,000 servers in 60 countries. But VPNs give you access to so many more options than just new TV shows. Having trouble connecting to social media? NordVPN. Want to buy a video game that's cheaper somewhere else or maybe not available in your country at all? NordVPN. Want to route your connection through multiple servers just for double-layered protection? Yes, NordVPN. And right now, as part of a special deal, you guys can get a two-year plan at a huge discount, plus an additional month for free. And if you try Nord and change your mind, they offer a 30-day money-back guarantee. All you got to do is go to nordvpn.com forward slash top tens. Again, nordvpn.com forward slash top tens for a two-year deal at a huge discount, plus an additional month for free. Or just follow the link in the description box below. And now, back to today's video. Number five, Spanish ribbed newts force their ribs out and coat them in poison. The Spanish ribbed newt has bug eyes and grows to about 9 inches in length. They look a little cartoonish in real life and aren't very intimidating, but that is just a ploy. When it comes to self-defense, few creatures go as hard as the ribs newt. When threatened, the newt is able to freeze and rotate its own ribs inside its body from 27 to 92 degrees relative to its spinal axis. The ribs push right out of the newt's skin through fleshy warts, and they are coated with a poisonous secretion. In pop culture terms, the newt is like Wolverine if he also poisoned his claws. There is no permanent hole that allows the ribs to protrude. The newt has to pierce its own flesh every time it uses the defense. Number 4. Blanket octopuses rip the poisonous arms off Portuguese man of wars the ocean is full of strange and terrifying creatures, more than capable of defending themselves in a variety of ways. From the claws of a crab to the jaws of a shark, you don't want to tangle with too many beasts of the deep blue sea. Some of the most formidable creatures rely on a bevy of debilitating and deadly toxins that can stop a predator, including a human with remarkable speed and efficiency. The blanket octopus has developed a backdoor to its defenses. Unlike the deadly blue-ringed octopus, a blanket octopus doesn't produce potent venom. Instead, they will steal weapons from the Portuguese man of war. The man of war, often mistaken, taken for a jellyfish, although it's actually a siphonophore, has dangerous stinging tentacles. They're not usually deadly to humans, but they can cause blisters and welts, and are powerful enough to kill small fish. Blanket octopuses are immune, however. They'll rip the tentacles right off the man of war and then wield them like toxic whips, either to attack or defend themselves. Number 3. Hoopo birds use filth as a defense. Many birds have a pretty decent cache of defensive skills available, chief among them the ability to just fly away. Some birds are also equipped with dangerously powerful beaks and talons as well. But what of the smaller, more delicate ones? What happens when they face danger? The Eurasian hoopo grows to maybe a foot long and weighs less than a deck of cards. They are not fearsome creatures, so to stay ahead of predators, they smear their own eggs with secretions that smell rotten and poop all over their own nests. Females coat themselves in the secretion, which comes from a gland below the tail. Despite the smell, it's antimicrobial and makes her feathers more waterproof and flexible. Within six days of hatching, babies are able to fire projectile feces at predators in their own self-defense as well. Number two, numerous kinds of larvae 
Jedi make poop shields. Turtles, armadillos, and shellfish have a good defensive advantage in life thanks to their armor. Other creatures aren't so blessed genetically, so they have to get creative. Take the tortoise beetle, for instance, which creates a shield out of its own feces to protect it from attackers. Many other species of beetle do the same thing in larval form as a means of protection before they grow their own tough carapace. Their strategy is oddly ingenious, as it uses a resource that the beetle never runs short of, and is something very few predators want to get near. The tortoise beetle can even move their shield and attack would-be predators with it like a weapon. Number 1. Bombardier beetles shoot boiling chemicals Bugs are generally disliked by most people, and the fact that many bite or sting is a big part of that. But a bug that eschews such pedestrian attacks in favor of literally shooting you with scalding hot chemicals is its own special kind of terrifying. Bombardier beetles are less than an inch long, possibly the only saving grace for these powerhouses. When threatened, a chemical reaction occurs in their abdomen. Hydrogen peroxide mixes with hydroquinone. The beetle has a little more on its backside that it can aim with amazing accuracy to fire at a predator. And you don't want to be on the receiving end of that blast. The two chemicals together can irritate the eyes and respiratory system. Worse, the reaction creates heat, so not only is it an irritant, it comes out literally boiling hot at 100 degrees Celsius. The beetle has enough chemicals to fire this 20 times. 